and the Arsenal defenders. But I thought that gave Liverpool the momentum. They were hungry. They, they, they looked they look very, very fast off the mark. And that stunned the Gunners. And it, sh and it just showed in the first 20 minutes, it could have been 10, <laughs> not one. It could have been 10. It really stunned them and really knocked them out pretty much. It was a first round knockout in boxing terms. Well, as you said, four goals in the first 20, plus Sturridge missed the chance, plus that magnificent effort from, from Suarez. From that first minute, Liverpool were in control. I'd been worried because the day before, Skirtle had said, we're going to go after Arsenal right from the very start. And I went, oh, shut up. But they went after him and they got them. A couple of weeks earlier, they played against Everton, which is a very tight game against a top side, and they beat them 4-0. And, of course, against Arsenal, another top side, they played well and beat them 5-1. However, if you look at the games in between that, notably the West Brom game, where they should have won comfortably, and the Aston Villa at home game, it shows that when Liverpool play with the right intensity and desire, as they seem to do against the top teams, they can compete with anyone and they can win. However, the inconsistency comes from the fact, I don't want to call it complacency, but when they play the so-called lesser teams, they don't seem to play with the right in intensity and desire. So the lessons learned from Liverpool is that they can compete with everyone at the highest level against the top teams. However, I temper that with a caution of they have to play with that same attitude and desire against the smaller team.